Hello and welcome. I'm Aman Mazingo, and this is the Afro Tales Podcast, a show that will explore the folklore, tales, myths, and legends of the African diaspora. So we've all heard of people like Paul Bunyan and Pecos Bill and John Henry. That's great. But have you ever heard of Annie Christmas? No? Well, that's what you're going to hear about today. Annie Christmas, the legend from New Orleans. Get ready, sit back, and enjoy. Annie Christmas. Black folks tell about Annie Christmas, and so do white folks. Every kind of folk claim her as their own, and there's a good reason why. But let me tell you, this woman is a legend. Annie Christmas was coal black, tree tall. She stood seven feet bare and weighed 299 pounds. Oh, she was a big woman. She would tell you she was the biggest woman in the state of Louisiana. The strongest that had ever lived in New Orleans town. She was a killboat operator up and down the Mississippi. And she knew New Orleans town like the back of a hand. She dressed like a man in harsh men's clothes. She had a mustache too. She could make her fist hard. And she would fight boatmen by the dozens and beat them down every time. Oh, men were stone scared of Annie because she was tough. They say her sons were born one after the other for 12 days. But I don't know about that. Yes, 12 sons. And they were just as night black as she was. I tell you about the time Annie decided to dress up like a fine lady. She shaved that mustache real close so it wasn't there. She piled her raving black hair up and stuck a peacock feathers. She sashayed around in this shiny purple outfit. Then she and a bunch of her dressed up girlfriends took a day trip on a kill boat on that old evil Mississippi River. Well, they say that big flowing fury and the devil is stepbrother. Can't stop warring each other. But I don't know about that either. Every time Annie's boat moored at the landing, one of her girlfriends had a gentleman with her. A date, they call them now. In my day, we called them boys dandies. All fussy and overstuffed in their shirts and scarlet bow tie. So long, Annie. Her girlfriend would call back and wave. Have a swell time. Annie would be left with one less guest on her keel boat out. By the time they reached a landing down river, Annie was completely alone. All the girls had gone with their dates. So Annie, so Annie hitched her keel boat to the side paddle wheel boat heading to New Orleans town. She got on the paddle boat just like any lady. And she had a good old time all by herself. Just being on that fine old boat but chugging along. Just feeling the breeze in her face and cooling her down. That was Annie. Able to enjoy the simple things. Well now, the captain of that paddle boat happened to be about as mean as they come. So was the weather that day. And as the day wore on, Annie got sassy. Both you better keep out my way, muttered Annie. She frowned at the darkness sky and glared at the captain. He kept away from her. That man knew who she was. Everybody up and down the Devil's River knew Annie. 
Evening came, night came. The river was boiling and raging with the sky blooming with clouds, growing high and wide, moving fast. The Mississippi rolled over on his back and kicked and punched at the devil. Next thing, the boat hit a sandbar. Annie was right there, standing behind the captain, ready to take over, but keep him quiet. The captain shouted, raged at his crew. He swung the boat back hard and hit a sandbar. This time, he hollered real bad words at his crew. His clothes and face were drenched in sweat. He bellowed curses at God, and that made Andy Christmas hot and mad as a tiger. Still, Andy did admire a strong, bad man. Something real soft came over. Andy Christmas gave the captain the sweetest smile and said, Give me a hug. Couldn't help herself. Poor thing. She knew a paddle boat captain was a special kind. Couldn't get over one that was big and mean and strong too. Oh, get out of here, you crazy woman. I'm sick of you. You are some giant bad luck. Get off my boat now, said the captain. Well, that hurt him. To be put off a boat like that? She was in love, and then out of love, in about a minute flat. I hope some big trouble gets you, she told the captain. You'd better watch out this night. Your crew, too. For all that's bad is right with me. With that, Annie Christmas got on her own boat and tore out of it. But she was real sad, some say. They say Annie couldn't get over the cat whom she cared about for a minute. She got dressed up in her prettiest satin dress one fine night, went out on the river and jumped over. She was never seen again. Poor thing, drowned like a rat. The captain, with a side wheel, well, he was never seen again either, nor any of his crew. But he haunts the big Devil River, they say. You can hear him cursing the weather, the sky, and the river on nights full of rain and darkness. So folks tell. As for poor Annie, some say her sons found her washed ashore. They wrapped her in an ebony shroud and put her in a cold black coffin. A hearse drawn by black horses carried her to the wharf. All of New Orleans town was there to see that hearse with six of her sons on each side. They were splendid in black. Black spats, black top hats too. And each of them seven feet tall. Every kill bow man that ever rode the river was there to witness the somber parade. And all Annie's girlfriends. And all the men she had beaten at hand wrestling and fist fighting. Darkness fell with no moonshine. The coffin was placed on a black barge. Then her tall sons climbed aboard and floated out with the coffin clear to the sea. All of it, Annie in her coffin, the sons in their black splendor, and the barge vanished from sight and were forever gone. Now you can believe this last or not, but this is what black folks say. Annie Christmas still out there on that big old river around the Orleans town. The black barge comes out of the mist. Her 12 sons standing straight and still. Six on each side of the coffin. And 
dead's end, sitting on her own wood grave, singing a river tune to the thundering sky. The end. Wow, so yeah, Annie Christmas. What do you say? A big black woman. <laughs> I love it. Um, like I said in the intro, uh, she's similar to stories like John Henry, um, Pecos Bill, um, Paul Bunyan, um, as far as the way we know the story. But, I mean, she's ours. You know, if I mean, if she is something like that, she's, she's our version, you know, and I love that about it. Um, I love this story. Um, I love like this larger than life black woman. You don't hear those type of stories that often, especially not in folklore. So it's one of those things. It's like, where are the black women? Where are the strong black women? You know, um, this type of thing makes me think of, you know, family members that I have that are those larger than life, at least in my family larger than life women um uh i really <laughs> just can't say too much about this well i can't say enough i should say about this story about this legend about this tall tale i mean she's right out of new orleans and for all my people that are from new orleans you probably have heard of annie christmas or kill boat annie or whatever other name that they may have for um there's something that say the old some white guys created her, but um, there are others say that this story goes back way further than that. And this is a definitely like a urban legend in the New Orleans area. Um, I can't wait to venture to New Orleans and talk to some people about it because uh, I think she's awesome. And the fact that she just could beat up any guy that came her way like she didn't take no mess that's <laughs> we know women like that especially black women like that that don't take no mess that can take down you know a few guys that they wanted to so yeah that's 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 awesome also um the thing that i that caught this story that caught my eye in this story the most was her sons 12 sons in 12 days all seven feet just like her that is crazy i've seen women get birth so to do it for 12 days straight is phenomenal um i'm pretty sure my my women listeners will be like 12 days 12 sons oh no uh-uh ain't happening <laughs> but yeah um i like this uh if you know anything about any christmas or if you know more legends like any christmas please contact me send me the stories i would love to read them on this podcast i love this stuff um but yeah this is annie christmas i love her um i wish i could read more stories about her um but this is what i have right now so until the next story thank you and uh see you on the other side thank you for your time you can find us on anchor spotify google Podcasts, or itunes or wherever you may listen to podcasts you may also find us on instagram and facebook at afro tales podcast all one word or on twitter at afro tales cast please share comment like leave a rating so others may find us just as you have again i'm amon mazingo this is afro tales podcast and until next time have a great day <laughs>